Hey guys, Joe Griner here, a caddy for Max Homa. I'm gonna take you through his bag, show you what we're gonna use here at Augusta National this week. So Max is always looking for that perfect combination, um, just like any guy with a high launch and low spin. This driver normally, his standard drive, cuts three or four yards. This week, he will probably give it a go to hit it really hard. If he swings really hard, he maybe hits a one yard draw. So playing Augusta National, we'll save that for holes like two and 13 for Max to kind of grip and rip it um, and maybe fall just a hair right to left. His stock swings probably somewhere around on the golf course, real, realistically 117 to 118. And then I think when he kind of heel lifts, swings as hard as he can, he can get it up to 122, depending on the weather, if it's warmer, if his body's moving well, um, he can definitely hit it hard. So this is Max's three wood. We re recently switched to this, um, the week of the players actually. Max likes to cut primarily every club. This one is a lot easier to draw. So we put it in at the players to be able to hit it there on hole two and 18. And then it kind of sets up good for, you know, hole two this week, hole 13, hole 10, especially. Um, this club just draws naturally the way the setting is. We're probably not going to hit it in many greens, but we will be hitting it off some tees this week. It's a good switch we've made and I like watching it draw. So if we were going to hit this from the fairway, we'd probably want something around 270 to 280. I think if he hits it good and high, it'll fly 265, 270. Um, and then off the tee, he can draw it a little further, might get out to 290. Max plays a seven wood. This is for sure my favorite club in his bag. Anytime he gets to hit it or it's a perfect number, I kind of just get excited. We put it into play at Torrey Pines a couple years ago. It's really good for long rough because it has a lot of loft. You know, you could chop out at the US Open with it and anywhere from 235 to 255 from the fairway. This is a huge club for us. Um, he hit this on the 72nd hole at Torrey Pines. I think we had 240 hole. We got up to the ball and I just started smiling because I knew it was a perfect club. Um, Max feels very comfortable with it. Off the ground, uh, we don't hit it too much off the tee unless it's a long par three. Um, but this is a perfect club for a high launch, little right to left, hold a par five green. So Max has been a Blake guy his whole life. Uh, a couple years ago, we were messing around um, and I saw this four iron, this T100S and at Riviera, we decided to try one out. Um, immediately, it launched high. It looked really good to him, like a blade, um, but easier to hit. So we put this four iron in a couple years ago and he kept hitting such great shots with it that I thought, man, when, when am I gonna get him to play the five iron? So then maybe six months later, got him to try the five iron. Same thing, sets up really nice, really high off the ground. He can flight it low when it's windy. I'm wondering if, you know, he's getting a little bit older, so maybe he'll put the six iron into play. But these two, this four iron um, is the four iron we hit on number 11 and number 16 at Torrey Pines this year. Number 11, it was the number was 211, so he hit a little cut with it, took a little off it. 16, the number was 227 into the wind. He just smoked a four iron, probably the best shot of his career to about 12 feet. So these two clubs are very important to us. Catting for Max, um, he's one of the best ball strikers out here, obviously. And um, these clubs are so important because they they still have the same shape as a blade. So they look the same as Max has played his whole career, but it gives him a little bit of forgiveness and he can launch it in the air and he can flight it. So basically you got a club that looks like a blade, but it's just a hair easier to hit. These are some of the best irons ever made, in my opinion. This week, we will probably be hitting eight and nine irons on hole 12 at Augusta. Probably be hitting an eight iron to the back right pin on Sunday, nine iron to all the other pins. Um, Max can't draw and cut both these clubs. They basically just fall right or fall left. So if it's a back right pin, he'll aim just left of it, make a swing, and hopefully it falls right, right on it. Um, and then to any left pin, maybe a nine iron, he'll probably just shave just right of it, fall left. These are incredible clubs. He's played blades his whole career, so I can definitely say they've made a lot of birdies. Yeah, the toughest shot is probably a shot like, you know, 10, if you're on the down slope. 
because you're on this down slope, you're hitting to a raised green that's pretty penal if you miss the green. The ball just doesn't stay near around the green. So usually you're hitting off a down slope, you got a six iron in, you got to kind of hit it high and solid. And if you've never been to Augusta National, the hills are much larger than they look on TV. Uh, you could be standing on a down slope and on TV it doesn't give it justice, but it's very difficult to hit it solid off those down slopes. So Max's four iron off the ground, if we had 222, I would say that would be the perfect number for his four iron to land directly on the hole. Um, Max's five iron, I would say 207 would be the perfect land number. If you just hit one straight off the ground, right in the, the green, it would probably land 207. Six irons probably, I would say, would land right on 194. Um, I always think Max hits it further than he does. Um, or at least I get him to hit the club that he can swing hard at. <clears throat> Seven irons right around 180. Um, if he draws it, it might go a little bit further. Eight iron, we're going to call right on 165. I probably think it goes 167, but Max would probably tell you 165. Um, nine iron, I would say 152. We'll hit it from 155. Um, if we had 150, that would be a pretty good number. And then his wedges, Max's gap wedge, um, he has a really cool shot, he chokes down on it, um, comes out a little flighted, goes about 119, but I'd say stock goes about 125. Pitching wedge obviously goes probably right on 140, if we're in the desert, 145, and if we're at Torrey Pines, probably 135. Sand wedge um, probably goes about 110, and then his lob wedge goes right around 90. All right, is the reason that Max doesn't have the lofts on his wedges because of him or because of you? I think it was because of Aaron, and I just think it's, I think we saw maybe somebody have it, and we loved it. 60, 56 for sure. I think this is 50, and this should be around 45. Um, just, I love the fact that they just say pitch wedge, gap, sand, and lob wedge. I really think that's very cool. With his gap wedge, he has a 119 shot, and then he has a really choked down, maybe an end of the wind shot that he can hit about 105. That's kind of the least distance he could hit it. Uh, with pitch wedge, he can go from 140, and then he could chip it for 130, and then maybe he would chip cut a 125 shot into the wind maybe back right pin. Um, Sam Wedge, he has a couple different shots. We don't hit this club full often because it has max spin, unless we have a perfect number to a front pin with firm greens, like 110 yards. We don't hit it that often. We're closer to hitting this like club from 95 to 105. And then the Lob Wedge, obviously, the perfect number for max would probably be 85. That's just off a of full one with control, with a spin. The 90 yard shot with this would be max spin. Um, so we'd hit this to a front pin also. And then he's got a bunch of 50, 60 yard shots with this too. Just depends on the conditions. In the morning, the ball tends to skid. So you almost want it to skid off the green and get on the green and spin. Much easier to do with a lob wedge. The sand wedge um, would probably skid twice and more roll. He also hit a lot of chips yesterday uh, with a five iron kind of like a putting style, just gets the ball rolling. There's a lot of up and overs here and very tricky, so this might come in handy. We might actually hit this five iron chip a decent amount this week. So this is Max's putter. Obviously, he doesn't make a lot of switches. Uh, he's been using this guy for quite some time. Um, he hasn't thrown it too much because there's not many dings. It still looks pretty good. Um, this club is very important this week for Max here at Augusta National. There's a lot of breaking putts, um, tough to make putts, but I'm hoping this thing will be heated up nice for Sunday afternoon. He's been with uh, this style of putter for, I would say, seven or eight years now. Um, I think a lot of guys like the look of a blade, but this just gives a little better feedback for them and helps them you know, line up the golf ball and kind of be a little more consistent, um, and it's good looking too. We talk about every shot. I give him the number. Um, 
you know, we I see the appropriate shot to be hit in the green, like if Max was an actual robot, how I'd want this ball to fly into the green. You know, I want this ball to fly right to left, low, bounce two times, go to the hole. So if we have, you know, 175 to back left pin, I'm thinking, okay, that's a perfect, you know, mid-flight, little draw, eight iron. Well, if we're on a left to right slope, um, that's hard to do. So I'll tell him the number and then we'll sit there and I'll ask him how he feels about the lie and whatnot. I always know what club I want him to hit, but then I have to feel out what he likes. Um, we're always really close. The best story I have, I told it yesterday, we we're in a fairway bunker at Tampa. It was downwind. We had 200 something yards and you know, Max and I were talking, telling him the number. I'm like, what do you like? He goes, I like five iron. Well, I was like, well, I like seven iron. Say, like, oh, it's a perfect six iron then. Hit six iron right on the green, makes birdie. It's just incredible. That's just how it goes sometimes. So Max recently switched to the 2023 Pro V1 um, and it was a pretty easy transition. He was looking for a little lower spin with the long irons, but higher launch. So to be able to hit shots like number 11 and 16 at Torrey Pines and make birdie on the final round to win the golf tournament. And then the nice thing about this golf ball is it still reacts the same around the greens, chipping, mid irons. Um, it's a really reassuring thing to caddy for Max when he's playing a Titleist golf ball because they make the best in the game. It's basically the most important part of my job is because uh, Max trusts me enough to tell him what club I like for him to hit into a green. And I've never once in my career of caddying ever doubted that the club was wrong or the golf ball was wrong. Normally I'm wrong. Normally, Max makes a bad swing. Um, I've never thought about the golf ball. The golf ball is the most consistent, best golf ball out here. Obviously, the irons, same way. Um, makes my job a little bit easier. I know you've been to TPI. Yeah. You've got fit for your set. Yeah. Can you generally tell us what your set looks like versus Max? Yeah. Any similarities and what are the differences? Yeah. Um, similarities, my, my golf clubs, I play the T100Ss, best irons I've ever played. Easy transition. Um, I go to the eight iron T100s. We have similar wedges. Mine all say gap sand, law pitch wedge, which I love. Similar woods, except my woods go probably 30 yards shorter than his. Um, we just did a fun bet the week before Austin where we played straight up, same tees, but Max was only allowed to tee off with a seven wood. So when he draws his seven wood in the desert, it probably goes like 260, 270, hit a couple really long drives. He never outdrove me. Luckily, I hit my driver by a seven wood, but he did beat me. We we're kind of prepping for the match play, and um, you know, I knew it would be good prep. I was hoping to beat him, really, you know, piss him off, but he beat me on 17. My putter is very similar to this. Um, I have my initials, Max, for my bachelor party. Um, got me one that has my initials my favorite number it's got a little blue in it for dodger blue um unfortunately i'm not making nearly as many putts as max though i play the pro v1x thank you to nick geyer for fitting me into it i grew up with nick um he works for titleist obviously he's one of the best fitters he's left-handed just like me so um i've known nick since we're 10 or 11 so it's kind of fun to get fit and see him and um Play the Thailand's golf ball. We just went on the spin, the launch, um, the feel. Feel was great. Um, we kind of tried all different golf balls, um, but the Pro V1X kind of the numbers fit the best. Of course. Uh -oh. Have a good time, man. All right, see you guys. Okay, no. Thanks. Thanks, Sam.